Hey guys, this is a weird angle, but um, I didn't feel like digging out my tripod. Also, the doors are open, so you can see all my mess up there. But this isn't a No Catch Name episode, so it's okay. It's just a vlog. How? What did you do? Are you okay? To go out here. Go in there and play the game or something. But I hurt my foot. Oh, are you okay? You want me to kiss it? You can't reach it because I'm on the ground. Which foot is it? Yeah. That's the. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that right there? Go, honey. Yeah. You want me to sign up for it, okay? Is this a hanger thing? Yeah, it's for the laundry. Don't mess with it, okay? Please. Oh, I gotta hear my mouth. Please. Oh, gosh, my desk is so. Cluttered. <laughs> I gotta clean it. All right. So one thing I want to show you. I'm just dropping off of it. So well, don't climb on it, okay? Cause you'll break it, and mommy will be sad. Okay. For my craft fair that's coming up in October, I wanted to order some bags, and I consulted with a few people that I know who's done craft fairs, and um, I originally wanted to order paper bags because I don't like plastic, um, you know, because of the environment and all that. But. Uh, you know, I had to come down to cost because I'm not like a famous crocheter or a YouTuber or anything. I don't have a ton of money to spend on stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I had to pitch the idea of paper bags for now. And I went ahead and went with plastic ones. And I'm just going to have to have faith in the people who purchase stuff that they will recycle the bags. <laughs> but, um, so I ordered a hundred bags. I can't remember how much it costs. But I'll try to remember to link the link below that I bought them through. And, um, they are 12 by 15. And they are clear ish you know but they're clear enough that um with stuff in there people can see the stuff that's in it uh so that'll be sort of like advertisement and then also bags for people to buy stuff in and i ordered a hundred of them so i'm pretty sure that'll last me for a few craft fairs if i do more so i highly doubt i'll uh need all these for the one coming up um this i can't say the company so i'll just have to link it below because it's a weird <laughs> word but I did want to share those with you guys because I got those in the mail um, Friday. I gotta find somewhere to put them when they don't get all crinkled up. But uh, I wanted to show you I got some Happy Mail. Me and Jesse both got some Happy Mail um, Friday also. <laughs> or Thursday? It was Friday, yeah. Yesterday. Today's Saturday. My days get mixed up, especially when Devin works a lot of overtime. Because it's kind of like there's never a weekend because he's working. But, um... So I get confused easily. But uh, this is in a different box. This isn't the box that came in. This is actually the box that the carousel package came in. Carla put, put it in this box. And uh, because I'm frugal slash cheap, however you want to name it, I uh, downsized the box and um, did a more economically <laughs> uh, sized box so that I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg to ship it. But it was still $18. But it isn't bad when you think about all the stuff that I kept out of the carousel. And, you know, divided, it came up to, like, uh, less than a dollar. Well, like, less than two dollars each. Anyways, what I was trying to say. Let me get this chair over right here. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, this, this is actually a ball yarn my mom gave me. She was trying to start knitting again, but she, uh, she gave up. And this is, I think it's Red Heart Pale Yellow is what it looks like. Anyways, um, I got this box from a subscriber. I'm not going to say her, her name because I don't know if she wants me to publicize her name. <laughs> but she'll know it when she sees it because she's the one who sent it. Um, part of it broke. One of the things in it kind of broke a little, but I can fix it. I just have to uh, get some glue. But she sent just a bunch of random stuff with a card. it is <laughs> this is the card and it says each day brings a new reason to be grateful and she wrote me a note in it but um i ain't gonna lie when i first read the note and got the package i cried a little <laughs> because it feels really good to be reminded every now and then that you're appreciated uh by people you know and that you know stuff that you're doing is uh appreciated but um uh, so it did touch my heart a lot when i opened this and i cried a little but, um, so this card, I gotta, I gotta get a new poster board to put up there because I'm getting more cards and I like having them where I can look at them. So I need to get another poster board for up there. But anyways, one of the things that was in there was this Halloween decoration. It's a lantern, but the top of it popped off. So I gotta, uh, fix it back on there. But I will definitely be hanging this up somewhere in the house when I fix the top of it. 
It's been awful quiet. I don't know what he's doing. And then I got it all just in a box. So I'm just going to kind of grab it. She sent me some post-it notes, which are highly appreciated because I am a note taker. If any of you have ever watched me before, sorry, the air just kicked on, so it might be loud. But, um, and it is true. If I do not write something down, it doesn't get done because I have the worst memory. I will forget something. And that's the same goes with comments or emails or something. If you email me and I don't answer you back, email me again because I more than likely read it and then went to do something and then completely forgot it existed. So I have to be reminded constantly. So there's, I have notepads everywhere and I try to carry one around with me all the time so that I can write stuff down. Anyways, continuing on. She sent some stickers. These um, have 96 stickers in it. And they say, just be you, shine bright, express yourself and be inspired awesome because I love stickers and uh, for my planner and journals and stuff and then this really cute um, pencil holder that I'm actually probably gonna put in this right here this is where I keep all my printed patterns uh, patterns that I make multiple times I keep in here because if I if I make the pattern more than once I obviously like the pattern so I print it out and keep it <laughs> so I'll probably put that in there she sent some pencils. I'm assuming one pack's for me and one pack's for Jesse because one pack has like woodland creatures on them. Foxes and deers and owls and a bear. I think that last one's a bear. And then these other ones I think are for Jesse because it's Toy Story characters. Uh, Toy Story 4. And some more stickers right here are owls. And this really beautiful composition notebook. And it's really cool because the pages are like not 100% white. They're like off white, which is cool. I think that's cool, but it's so pretty. And it says it's a green room recycled. So I don't know if it's, oh wait, right here. Our notebooks are made with paper con containing seven, 60 to 70 recycled fiber and printed with non-toxic soy-based ink. That's really cool. I'm all about recycling. I'm gonna hop in here real fast and say something. I was watching another video the other day and she was talking about how she recycles bags by reusing them uh, like in garbage cans and stuff. That's not recycling because at the end of the day that garbage bag still ends up in the dump or wherever. That's reusing, which is also better than buying garbage bags for your garbage can. But if you wanna recycle garbage bags, you need to do something like <clears throat> Jane or like Amber does and make plurin out of them to make items people aren't gonna throw away or items that you can use for years and years and years before you do have to recycle it again. Or you can actually recycle them like at Walmart. And uh, Jane actually said that she doesn't wanna recycle with Walmart anymore because they get paid for that. But in my mind, I would rather Walmart get paid for my bags that I didn't have to pay to get and <laughs> they're free for me than to throw them out and the garbage dump or something uh, because I have a son who's got to grow up in this world and I want it to be good when he grows up in it. I want him to be able to see animals and nature things and all that stuff without it being covered in plastic. So um, I don't mind recycling when someone else gets paid for it because it takes the work off of me. I don't have to actually find a recycling center and do with all that. That kind of stuff's not here for us. In our county we don't have a recycling area <laughs> except for metal and um, Scrap metal, aluminum, batteries, and paint is like all we can recycle here for free. And our, the county next to us has recycling for everything, but you have to be a county resident, which we're not. So we don't have any choices in my current county to recycle plastic or glass or anything like that. I mean, cardboard, I think we can recycle too. But, in, and, and it's not all the types, you know, because there's different types of cardboard and plastic and glass that you can recycle different ways. But anyways, I'm just really, um, I would I would don't mind someone else making some money off of recycling uh, as long as I don't have to uh, you know it keeps the pressure off of me of having to go on my way to find a place to recycle to so I will continue to recycle my shopping bags to Walmart or to anywhere else that takes them and I know our Publix um, the Publix has a egg carton container thing that you put like used egg cartons in and they recycle them but uh, yeah anyways back to the box she sent some stickers for Jesse. These are a bunch of different cars and car related parts and space ones. He's gonna love these ones because we're all I haven't showed him some of the stuff yet. He already ran off with some of it actually. She got him some little Toy Story toys and some Hot Wheels and a bag of candy that is already gone. He done ran off with it. 
And then she did send me some ribbon. She sent me a black and orange sparkly. And then this one that's got spiders and pumpkins or jacket lanterns on it. I'm gonna try to make a bow out of this. Like this is the main bow and this is like detail parts of it. But I have no idea how to make a bow. I gotta look up a YouTube video on how to do that. This is nine foot. I think I can make a bow with that because I bought some bows at Dollar Tree that are definitely not nine foot and I could probably just copy that bow pattern and make my own bow. And then she got Jesse some of the, what is this called? Manuscript tablet. <laughs> and it's to practice writing on, which I guess I need to start doing that more with him. And then she got him this one, which is like a drawing pad. He'll love this because he loves painting and stuff and coloring with markers, so this would be perfect for that. Hold on, don't run off with anything. Crayons. Crayons, crayons. There were two of these, but one's already gone. <laughs> Is this the same one? Yeah, I think, no, this one has bananas in it. The other one didn't have bananas in it. Aren't those my stuff? Yeah, I'll give them to you in just a minute, okay? No, this stuff. Yeah, it's paper. This is a spider garland. I already know where I'm gonna put this. I was just waiting this to show it. This. Well, I'm not ready for it just yet. Let me show these things. And then these are felt stickers. These ones are witch hats. And this one's got jack-o'-lanterns, bats, ghosts, and more jack-o'-lanterns. Different color jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, it's broken. Mommy's got to fix that. Leave it right there. And then she also sent some Twizzlers. Regular Twizzlers and two of the Dr. Pepper ones. Some of them are open is why I put them in this bag. But, um, yeah. So these ones actually taste interesting. They don't taste anything like Dr. Pepper to me, but they taste like a soda. And uh, regular or strawberry ones. Yeah, here, put it back, okay? Because Mommy's going to fix it, and then she's going to hang it up somewhere. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And you can slide it. Yeah. Maybe but I wanted to share that. Too big one. Yeah, that's cool. Set it down, please. It's kind of like a balloon. Yeah, kind of like a balloon. Listen to Mama and set it down. Now take your toy and go play. It looks better. Yeah. So now i got to put all this stuff up. And, nope, don't play with that. That's the part i got to fix. That goes to it too. Go play. You forgot that. No, I'm gonna put that in the kitchen because that's where the candy and stuff goes. I. Oh wait, she also sent stitch markers. I just seen this in a little organza bag. Can we have this? No, Mama's gonna hang it up in the bathroom. Can we have? Hold your horses, okay? This one is got a butterfly on it. So I'm gonna focus. I don't have a fancy phone. <laughs> this one is really pretty. <laughs> and then this hey, one. Mama. What? That's everything. <laughs> Hi. Yesterday I was sewing. I can't remember if I filmed any yesterday or not, but I will see. <laughs> but I made 15 notion bags. I got these two candy corn ones done, two jack ones, cats in costumes. Fat cats. It's almost Halloween. Uh, ghost, ghosting. Yeah, the house is Halloweeny. Pumpkins. One of this kind. And these two. I actually didn't have enough material to make these ones solid, so I had to improvise by putting material on the top of them. But I think it looks cool. That's all the ones that I could sell last night. And then I got this stack over here. Yeah, hold on. These ones right here, I'm about to do right now. So I'm gonna hook up my sewing machine and sew.